Hello and welcome to another episode of Two Labs Garage. If you've ever bought one of those Harbor Freight tire machines, you're familiar with this. The shoes on those things are junk. These are what you use to break the bead and they're just a poor design and this is what they do after you use them a little bit. Well, they've got a um, new one out and they say they've addressed issues but the one I saw still had that kind of shoe on it. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to fix that with an old bed frame. Stay tuned. <coughs> Now a lot of the videos out there on fixing these, um, what they get people do is they will take them and straighten them out and they'll weld the plate on the top here. And that's a great way to fix these things. But maybe you don't have a welder. Maybe it's the weekend and the welding shop's closed and you're trying to get something done. Now, you don't have to explain yourself to me. Whatever your reason is for not doing that, that's a good one. That's where the bed frame comes in. And the bed frame, I chose this because what it really is, you flip it around so you can see, it's really just angle iron. And why can't you use a piece of angle iron for this? You, you can. It's, if you've got a piece of angle iron with a hole in it, now that's, that's wonderful. But chances of you having something like this in your garage or attic or closet that hadn't been used in 15 years, eh, pretty good. Or you know somebody that does. Also, if you ride up and down the road on trash day, it's not hard to find these. Or you can go to the thrift store, it's like a dollar, two dollars, they're dirt cheap. Anyway, this is the cheapest way that there is to get angle iron. And I've got several of these, so I'm just going to cut this one up and use it to fix that. And so today, I'm just going to be doing everything with basic tools. I actually do have a welder, but I didn't always have one, and it's kind of a lot of trouble for me to drag it out. I don't need it, so I'm doing this to help y'all that don't, welding isn't an option. It's a great option, but you don't have to. Alright, so measure your angle iron. Um, for me, I just did a comparison like this. And yes, you can see I already cut one. I don't know if I had the camera on or not. But either way, do it like that. And then, just take it, cut it off. Now, I use this chop saw, metal chop saw. You don't have to have that. Um, you can use an angle grinder if you don't have one of these. You can use a sawzall with a metal cutting blade. Even a hacksaw. Yeah, it'll take you some time, but it'll get the job done. So anyway, you cut them off the length. And I just, I know this is 10 inches. So cut them off at 10 inches. thing we need to do is straighten out the shoe somehow or another. So we'll put it in a vise. Yeah. Alright, I think we can do a little more, but that's not bad. Let's go ahead and get this side straight. This little bend here, I think I'm going to try to just squish it in the jaw, see if that'll do it. I did a reasonably good job. Now I'm going to come here just before the kink. Taking both sides of the vise. You little devil. And there you go. Reasonably straight. Alright, so it started to sprinkle a little bit, so I moved inside. But anyway... What I have here is one arm of a shoe with an angle iron facing the inside. Okay, I lied. That's why I'm interrupting the video. I realized 
as I was editing the video, I checked this up. Um, the way I said that the flame just need to face the inside, I forgot about the pipe that comes across the top. They're going to hit that in a fear. So they need to be on the outside. And if there is ever an issue with it racking, I guess I might have to put Etz Brace on it. Yeah, so anyway, I, I could still use all these holes. I just need to flip everything around. And I have it clamped down with two vice grips inside the vice. First thing I'm going to want to do is clear this hole right here for the hinge. Let's go drill that out. This bit's a little small. That's no big deal. I'll just come back with a step bit later and get it. Let's see. I'm going to say three bolts holes throughout it. Alright, we got our holes drilled. And I never even looked at what size bit I used. I just grabbed and used. And I'm putting just whatever bolts I could find lying around in it. These just so happen to be a mixture of quarter 20 bolts and nuts. That'll be sufficient. Especially since what I found was grade 8. Which is a big time overkill, but get the job done. Pretty rusty too, so I'm gonna take a little extra. I'm gonna go ahead and release it from the vise. Alright, so here we go. The piece is all fabbed up. We've got the angle irons on, bolted on with quarter 20 bolts, just miscellaneous junk that I threw together. And I think this will be plenty strong. I don't see any way these will flex. Um, if it does want to do like this though. So, I guess I could put a head brace on the back of something, an angle brace, but I don't think it'll be necessary, man. So anyway, let's go put this on the tool. Alright, so to put it on the tool, alright, got the arm here. Now these angle irons have thickened this up some. So the old clevis pen ain't gonna be big enough. And that's fine because I lost this one. So anyway, just put it where you think you need it. I'm just going to use this carriage bolt that I have in my junk pile. Plenty long. Alright. That looks like it should work. Let's give it a try. Fantastic. Like it ain't nothing. So I hope that little lesson will help you get the most out of your Harbor Freight tire machine with a less amount of aggravation. Also, since I started recording this, I found out these are the same ones they sell on Amazon Tractor Supply. They're sold under the Olympia brand there. So Anyway, this is a very low cost option to help you shoe out. I do recommend a good drill bit or a good step bit. I used a Milwaukee step bit that when I started using that, the ability to bore through the angle iron drastically improved. And that angle iron some hard stuff. But anyway, yeah, I used old junk bed frame. Honestly, I found that on trash day on the side of the road. So, nothing in it, didn't require a welder, just some basic tools that pretty much all of you have. If not, you probably got a neighbor you could borrow something from. And I got one of the most cussed things on these machines fixed. Now I understand the new ship machines, the ones that are painted black, they've addressed a lot of the things. But, like I said, the one I saw still had the same old style shoes. Though. 
good way to do it. You use this thing one time, it will pay for itself. I'll tell you another little tip to using these things is bolt it to the most sturdy thing that you can. I don't have a place where I want to dedicate bolt it down. I want to be able to move it when I'm not using it. So the deck of my trailer is by far the best thing I found. It's really made it easier for me to use this. So anyway, take care of yourself and your projects. Take care of each other. God bless you. I'll see you again soon. We're going to get these tires back on that Dodge truck and we are going to have some more videos coming on that Dodge truck very soon.